Hello, Jeff. My name's Scott Heber. I'm the Director of Instruction at the Grand Traverse Resort and Spa. And uh, it looks like you and Kevin were duking it out for uh, best dress. I like both the outfits. And I really like your golf swing. So I'm going to start showing it to you here in slow motion so we can take a look at what you look like. In real good motion, I like what, like what we got to work with here. Now what we're going to talk about is getting you to be a little bit more consistent because I don't think uh, your handicap is how far you can hit it or how straight you can hit it, it's, it's the inconsistency. So we're going to talk about X factor. An X factor is the difference between your shoulder turn and your hip turn. So we think of it like a spring when we turn back it loads up and then we can unload it. So we're going to take a look at Chad Campbell. We're just going to look at his hips and his shoulders. So we can start out right now at an address that the difference between the rotation is zero. Now as we go back, we're going to see that the hips are going to turn about 30, 35 degrees and the shoulders work to 90 degrees. So this right here is the coil or the spring. And this is where our energy is going to be stored up. So as it comes down, we're going to see that that spring actually increases. So his hips are almost back to square and the shoulders are almost at 90. This is what allows the guys and gals on TV to hit it so far and it looks like they're not swinging very hard. So now when we go back to you, we're going to see shoulders go first, hips are staying there. And right here our hips have turned about 45 and our shoulders have turned 90 and that's perfect for amateur golf. But we're going to see that we don't stop there. The hips continue to turn and so do the shoulders. So even though this is a big backswing and it feels bigger, we haven't loaded up our coil anymore. So the more that we turn away from the ball, the more we have to return. And when you turn that far away from it, that's where we're going to see some inconsistencies. This, this golf swing here looked really good. Looked like it hit right in the center of the face, which probably turned out to be a pretty good shot. Looked like it was, uh, my guy told me it was just a slight pull. But let's, let's utilize that coil and that X factor a little more. We, we want your hips to turn a little less. We don't want to turn so far away. I would imagine even sometimes you're losing sight of the ball when your head turns that much where your head's really getting cranked back in this direction versus what we're seeing with some of these other guys where we don't see that much. You see those eyes stay right on the ball. We look at Charles Howe at the top. Look at tremendous turn, not a whole lot of lower body. Same thing with Ernie Els. Tremendous amount of turn, not a whole lot of turn with your lower body. It's just going to get you to, to hit it more consistently. It's not going to cost you any distance. And if anything else, it, you, you might even actually gain a little bit. So we can, now we can really see when we put it side by side with those guys. There. There. And there. But that's what the long hitters do, not a whole lot of lower body turn. So give that a try. Let your arms swing up a little bit. Limit how much your lower body rotates. I know it's going to feel a little bit like a half swing, but what you're going to find is more balls in the fairway and less foul balls. Thanks, Jeff.